Welcome back to the restaurant show. With me now is John Connolly, who is the manager and executive chef over at Freiburg Gastro Pub. How are you, John? I'm doing well. How are you? Very good. Very good. Good, good to have you with us. First time on the restaurant show. How's it feel? It feels uh, different. <laughs> it feels different. All right. Well, we'll, uh, we'll we'll try to make it as smooth as possible. We're talking pretzels today, specifically Bavarian pretzels. And you're going to show us a demonstration, it sounds like. I am. So why don't we get started with that? What All are right. the first steps? First thing we have is our water, which is typically between 100 and 110 degrees, 107 degrees okay. tends to be optimum. Okay. You add in your yeast. Okay. Salt, sugar. All right. Mix that up. Get it good and dissolved. Okay. You add in a third of the flour. Okay. And so you're get it little by little, it sounds like. Yep. And then. Or butter. Look at all that butter. Yeah. That's beautiful. Butter is beautiful. Butter is awesome when it comes to making pretzels. <laughs> so how long have you been serving Bavarian pretzels? Actually, we at the restaurant have been serving pretzels since the day they opened. Oh. Um, yeah, we used to get them made out outhouse, but uh, now we do them in-house. Okay. That's coming together. And then, um, why did you switch to making them in-house? Has that affected Change, or, uh, change your sales at all? Actually, it hasn't. I, I think it's actually increased our sales. Um, okay. It's actually a twofold reason. One mm -hmm. was the being able to get the supply we needed um, and the quantities we needed. Sure. Um, the other, obviously, is cost. Right. I can make them cheaper. Oh, well, that's good. And faster. So that's good. You can make it from scratch cheaper. Why not? So you're trying to get all of the the lumps out of there. I'm assuming. Correct. Kind of and get it to start <laughs> bubbling. Then you add the oh, rest right. of your flour. Got it. So you divide it by two thirds to one third. You start with one third, and then you okay. two thirds at the end. Okay. Um, sometimes it winds up being a little bit runny, which is why we have the extra flour to work it in. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. You brought backup flour. Exactly. Good. That's good. So you've been there since you've been at uh, Freiburg since October. You had said. Correct. And are you enjoying it? I am. All right. I love the job. All right. <clears throat> Bringing some new things to the menu and whatnot. We are. We are. Um, I got a great team. We discuss a lot of things, come up with a lot of uh, new ideas, uh, new promotions, new new menu items. Excellent. Excellent. That's really starting to come together. I like yes, that. Yes, it is. So then I'm assuming you just kind of <clears throat> you just kind of roll it out then and yep. tie it together basically. Pretty much. Right. Um, and actually, it doesn't even take a tie. It's uh, more or less you uh, just fold it together and it sticks. Okay. Oh, that's that's cool. Um, you also brought, uh, and obviously this is what the finished product looks like right here. You garnish it up with a little bit of cucumber, it looks like. Mm -hmm. And then you've got some mustard and some beer cheese spread. Correct. Now you guys make this beer cheese spread. We do. And what inspired this beer cheese spread? Well, when we were coming up with the new pretzels that we were going to do, um, you know, people, we have a, an Obatsa beer mm -hmm. uh, cheese spread that we serve with it. And, you know, it's made with uh, camp, or, uh brie and okay. uh, cream cheese, okay. and it's not everybody's favorite, but I mean, who doesn't like a pretzel with cheese sauce? Of course. And so, you know, one of the other managers was like, why don't we do a beer cheese sauce? And I was like, well, why don't we do a beer cheese spread? And so, hence came the idea hence. for the beer cheese spread, and I developed the recipe for it, and, and now we have it. they say is history. Exactly. So, uh, so this is pretty popular. Do you have um, other flavors, or is this the only type of it's cheese spread you have? Just that one. Okay. Um, you know, it's made with cheddar cheese, Gruyere, and sure. uh, Kronbacher dark beer. Okay. And it's pretty popular. I it understand. absolutely is. Uh, you know, it probably doubles the amount of uh, cheese spread that we put on there over the Obatsta. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Two to one. Wow. <laughs> So uh, we just have a couple minutes left, and I, um, you know, want to have you keep working here. But I also want to ask about uh, some of the promotions that you have for upcoming brunches on Saturdays and Sundays. Tell us about that. Well, starting this coming Saturday, um, we are going to launch our um, Bloody Mary bar. Okay. And that is, it's nine dollars. That covers the cost of the bar. Mm -hmm. um, it's self-serve. Make your own Bloody Marys any way you want. We've got right. uh, 16 different um, garnishes and ingredients going out there. You too um, can be a bartender. That's that's <laughs> absolutely right. You know, so many people like their Bloody Marys so many different ways. We sure, figured, yeah. why not do this? It's, it's yeah. a neat draw. It's, it's taken off in New York and L.A., so we figured oh, okay. we might as well try it as well. Yeah, yeah, well, that's cool. That'll be good. And then... Um, 
Easter dinner. Uh, you might be watching this show after, but hopefully before Easter. You've got some Easter dinner specials coming up. What are they? We do. Um, what we have is we have a ham or turkey um, dinner. Okay. Um, and you're not, you know, if you've got five or six people and one wants ham and the rest want turkey, that's perfectly fine. Okay. But we're serving it sty uh, family style. Oh, all okay. you can eat. Oh, wow. Um, and it's uh, $16 a person. 16 that's pretty good. $16 per person. Mm -hmm. All right, very cool. All right, so we've got the dough rolled out here and we're ready to start making the pretzel. And you put some baking soda into the boiling water that's over there. So. Correct. That oh, that helps. is really easy to make. It just helps set it up. Okay. Once you got it made, just pick it up. Yeah. Drop it in your water. Okay. Let it cook for uh, 25 seconds on one side, flip it over 20 on the other. Wow, and then okay. you're done and it's ready to go on a tray, butter, salt, and into the oven at 450 degrees for eight minutes and it's done. What is the what is the pre-boiling supposed to do for it? It's actually like a bagel. It cooks it from the inside. Oh. Got it. Okay. It also gives it that uh, the crack and mm -hmm. stuff on the outside, which is sure. typical of a Bavarian pretzel. So basically, all you're doing is just kind of browning it on the outside when you put it in the oven. Exactly. Okay. Well, do you mind if I try a piece here? Absolutely. Knock all yourself right. out. Bavarian pretzel. And should I um, do the beer cheese spread and the mustard, or just one or the other? What uh, do I, I like do? them both. You like them both. All right. Well, we're gonna take a little bit of the cheese spread here. Take a little bit of the mustard. Put that on there. Mmm. Mmm. Perfect. That is perfect. That beer cheese spread is amazing. Thank you. Wow. If you have not been down to Freiburg Gastro Pub, you're missing out. Come down. Go down there. See this guy, John Connolly. He'll take care of you. Sorry, I'm talking with my mouth full. This is That's really good. That's quite all right. Thanks for coming on the show today. You're welcome. And don't go away. There's more restaurant show coming up after the break.